The northern mining industry has taken some has taken some heavy hits in the f last few months. Current economic slowdown has forced some mines to cut back on workers and operations. However, this hasn't stopped exploration companies from con continuing to look for newer ways of doing business in Canada's north. APTN's Cullen Crozier has more. Exploration is underway at Thor Lake in the Northwest Territories. For the last 30 years, mining companies have been drilling at the site. This time around, it's Toronto-based Avalon Rare Metals. Their proposed mine site is looking at a greener way of doing business. Currently, Avalon is drilling for rare minerals that are used in environmentally friendly products such as wind turbines, solar panels and electric cars. Not only is the mined product eco-friendly, the site is as well. Yeah, our objective is to do all of our exploration with, uh, you know, the environment, uh, the community and health and safety in mind. And, the, and it's all just part of that uh, corporate objective to do things the right way. And uh, we believe that doing things the right way is good business. Fuel is stored on plastic berms, cans are recycled and garbage is incinerated twice a day. On top of that, biodegradable muds and lubricants are used on the drill to prevent environmental contamination. And there's no guarantee when you're doing exploration you'll ever become a mine. So the, the idea in exploration also is that if you finish your exploration, you clean everything out of the site. Mm -hmm. Now, that didn't always happen in the past, so one of the things we've been doing here is clean, cleaning up material left from the past. Thor Lake is located in the Akecho region of the Northwest Territories, about 100 kilometers southeast of Yellowknife. Avalon has already begun extensive consultation with local communities and First Nation leaders. Last week they met with members of the Yellow Knives Dene to inform potential investors about the benefits of the project, as well as some of the concerns facing First Nation people in the north. But you have to build a little bit of extra flexibility if you come up to the culture here. And that's all it takes is just um, the building go that little extra mile to be culturally sensitive, to be culturally aware. Not all the minds are. Yeah, they're, they're making efforts, but, you know, they're not quite there yeah. yet. But that's, that's okay, because everything in life is evolutionary. Not revolutionary, it's evolutionary. And hopefully, as we get more experience... The Aboriginal people uh, in the North are evolving, you know. They've got uh, IBAs with contracts, uh, preferential treatment there, and employment and training. So uh, I think people are moving to the next step and saying they want to have some equity participation and ownership in what's happening in their own land. Earlier this year, in partnership with the NWT's Mine Training Society and Aurora College, Avalon initiated two training programs to help First Nations workers develop the skills needed for employment at the site. Of the ten graduates of the Drillers Helper Training Course, three are now employed at Thor Lake. Uh, pretty good, actually. They're joint ventures and are, you know, could have the original coin and through the mining, training, and everything. Uh, also, it's, it's a, uh, our responsibility to help the communities raise the level of their uh, people so that they can get better jobs, earn more money, and have a better life. And that's a, a corporate responsibility. It opens up wider horizons for those people that, that are beneficial for them in the, in the, in the long run. Whether or not the Thor Lake project will ever become a fully operational mine remains to be seen. However, the work being done promises that the surrounding environment and First Nation workers will be looked after for years to come. Colin Crozier, APTN National News, Thor Lake.